In January of 1913, an unexpected letter arrived at the doorstep of renowned British mathematician Godfrey Harold Hardy. Penned by an obscure clerk from the Port Trust Office in Madras, India, the letter contained extraordinary claims of mathematical breakthroughs. Though initial impressions dismissed it as yet another missive from an eccentric enthusiast, Hardy's closer examination revealed a startling truth. The letter was a testament to the breathtaking genius of its author, Srinivasa Ramanujan. Who was this man and what exactly did he achieve? Born in 1887 in Madras, India, Ramanujan displayed an unparalleled aptitude for mathematics from a young age. By his early teens, he had outpaced the knowledge of college students and independently delved into advanced mathematical concepts. Despite limited formal education, Ramanujan's innate talent propelled him to master subjects beyond the reach of many seasoned mathematicians. However, Ramanujan's journey was fraught with appalling challenges. Hindered by extreme poverty and the lack of academic support, he struggled to sustain his passion for mathematics. Yet, it was his unwavering dedication that caught Hardy's attention when he received Ramanujan's persistent third letter. Finally, recognizing Ramanujan's unparalleled potential, Hardy extended an invitation for him to join the mathematical community at the University of Cambridge. Despite initial hesitations, Ramanujan embarked on a transformative journey to England, where he astounded Hardy and his peers with his intuitive brilliance of unmatched proportions. Through collaboration with Hardy, Ramanujan refined his raw talent unveiling a wealth of groundbreaking theorems and insights that had eluded mathematicians for centuries, including names such as Robert Hooke and Isaac Newton. His contributions to number theory and analysis earned him acclaim and recognition, culminating in his election as a Fellow of the Royal Society and Trinity College. In his lifetime, the mathematical genius Srinivasa Ramanujan produced around 3,900 mathematical results, all of which he seemed to invent independently. Remarkably, nearly all of his claims have since been proven perfectly correct, even the most profound ones, leading to the opening of new areas of study and inspiring further research. Such was the impact of his work that it led to the establishment of the Ramanujan Journal, a scientific publication dedicated solely to math influenced by his theories. But Ramanujan's legacy doesn't stop there. As science and mathematics have progressed, his work has found relevance in fields that didn't even exist during his time. Areas such as computer science, electrical engineering, and including the study of black holes have all benefited from his insights. For instance, Ramanujan had even developed a formula that would later be used to describe the different properties of black holes, despite the fact that the concept of black holes was completely unknown during his lifetime. Mathematicians and scientists have been puzzled by Ramanujan's seemingly intuitive grasp of concepts that were far ahead of his time. Some, like Ken Ono of Emory University and Freeman Dyson of the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton, attribute his abilities to a kind of intuition or magic tricks that remain beyond our understanding. Ramanujan himself attributed his mathematical prowess to his family goddess Namagiri, claiming that equations held no meaning for him unless they represented thoughts of God. He described receiving visions of complex mathematical formulas after dreams of his family goddess, 
which might seem eccentric, but they parallel the experiences of other legendary thinkers throughout history, such as Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. This phenomenon of sudden inspiration is not unique to Ramanujan. Also, Dmitry Mendeleev, the creator of the periodic table, claimed that the entire table came to him in a dream, including elements that had not yet been discovered. Albert Einstein famously conducted thought experiments to derive his groundbreaking theories, while even Steve Jobs claimed to have received inspiration for the iPhone in a daydream. These instances of sudden inspiration might find an explanation in the concept of the Akashic Records. This idea, originating from the Sanskrit word Akash, meaning the essence of all things, suggests a universal database of human knowledge and experience accessible to anyone at any time. Proponents of this concept argue that even religious texts hint at the existence of such an incredibly profound database. Also, Nikola Tesla was a fervent supporter of the Akashic Records, describing them as a repository of all human knowledge. He believed that his own ideas and inventions were inspired by this universal database. Could it be that individuals like Ramanujan, Einstein and Jobs were accessing this wealth of knowledge when they experienced moments of sudden insight? The existence of the Akashic Records might also shed light on other mysteries, such as the simultaneous discovery of inventions and scientific theories by multiple individuals. Mozart's prodigious talent and the near simultaneous development of historic inventions like the telephone and airplane could be attributed to access to this universal database. For Ramanujan, the question remains, if he did indeed access the Akashic Records, how much knowledge did he acquire and what insights might he have left for future generations? As his work continues to yield new revelations and applications, it's possible that Ramanujan's contributions to mathematics may extend even further into realms such as time travel, anti-gravity and limitless energy. Apart from the question of what Ramanujan could have accomplished further if he had been given the time, one thing that he already did was prove himself standing next to immortal giants like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton and Nikola Tesla, due to the fact that no other mathematician in history produced so much on such an advanced level of math science that he can be regarded with ease as the greatest mathematician in recorded history. A status equal if not beyond those of Newton, Einstein and Tesla.